Publicify is the most original content creator on the fucking planet. Publicify truly is the best PokeTuber that he's been touting about for years now. And of course, I can only say this if the Reality Stone is active. And if that wasn't another one of Publicify's standard scripts that he constantly regurgitates. As if it wasn't one of his many epic delusions of grandeur. So what do we have here today? Dynabax discovered in Sun and Moon, Gen 8 Easter Egg. Well, let's just take a look at that, Publicify. Hmm, seems harmless at first. It looks like Publicify did his research. It looks like that this is something that he totally found on his own. Own. Yeah, as we see here, um, no sources of information. It's just that, oh, look at two more of my other videos. Real Pokemon Sword and Shield Owl of Armor leaks. Huge Pokemon nudes. Yeah, we can go on and on about him rerunning the same old tired ass clickbaity scripts. But isn't this the same shit that he loves to lambast others over? You're covering leaks. You're a phony. You're a fraud. I am the truest PokeTuber ever. And let's not act like Easter eggs or something. Something that's suddenly new in games, let alone Pokemon games, because Publicify needs views. But uh, yeah, it seems like this is his own information. He found this by doing extensive research, not that it takes 13 whole minutes to repeat the same points over and over again. Duh! What is this? A Seder Nor? Excuse me if I'm butchering your name, but it looks like there's something fishy going on here. It looks like there's something a little uh, unoriginal, because look at that. Maybe 27th. That was yesterday, ladies and gents. It looks like Seda Nor discovered something yesterday that looks awfully familiar. Now, I'm not gonna sit up here and run that line and act like anyone owns the rights to an idea, but if you know deep down that you didn't do any fucking research and you literally just copied and pasted someone else's information, the very least you can do is give them credit. Now, Seda Nor didn't do a video on it, but it's clear that he found this very same information that Publicify implies was just discovered in Sun and Moon. See, it matches up perfectly. There's that poster that clearly looked like it contains that Gigantamax toxicity. Hmm, suddenly those tired ass scripts that he keeps on rerunning get exposed for the fraudulence that they naturally remain to be. Nothing real about this, my guy. If you're going to copy and paste information, not that you're required to do it, but it would help your non-existent credibility to give credit where it's due. I mean, you're the one who's the realest. You're the best PokeTuber. You present all of the facts and everything, even though you cover the exact same things you bitch him on about the others fraudulently doing. And you know damn well this is information you took and ran with from someone else. As I said before, no one owns the rights to an idea, but at the same time, you know that your information is anything but original. Gee, it reminds me of the infantile back and forth you had with PokeTips claiming that you stole his content, he stole your content, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, see, he actually stole your content, but yet you're taking information and running with it knowing damn well it wasn't yours. So not only will I give credit where it's due, but I'm going to link you to Seda Nora's Twitter and even goes into more details. This is also in Sun and Moon, so it's been out for three years, in fact. Also, the light blue poster might be Galarian Ponytail slash Rapidash. Also, this G-Max Toxtricity might be beta since it lacks the large tail. Well, it lacks a lot more than a large tail. It lacks detail entirely, but what can you do on the 3DS's tiny ass, absolutely fucking terrible 240p screen anyway? That's it for this one. Um, be sure to look out for Publicify, the greatest PokeTuber that ever lived who is totally original, gets his own information, has his own facts. Oh, he lost a thousand subscribers as well. What the hell? It's crunch time. The Isle of Armor is just around the corner and uh, this is still the best he can do. Dude. Yeah, no kidding, really random. They always do this. But Easter eggs are totally new according to Publicify in his demented little La La Land that he lives in. Yeah, and talk about recycled scripts. And of course his simps are gonna buy it because they can't think for themselves and they wouldn't dare question, let alone defy their master. And of course this has absolutely nothing to do with the BBND. But just like Pokey Tips and everything that doesn't suck him off in his little sheepy community, he's terrified every single day by those voices in his head.
head. And despite all of this, you can even break the 10K view mark, which isn't even, again, a fourth of the amount he should be getting according to those many subs he has. Whether you consider his so-called break and even the fucking pandemic, that still leaves a lot to be desired. And damn, even I get more interaction in my comments because I'm not the shadow banning Thanos of YouTube in YouTube's comment section. You can see with the retweets and the likes that, yeah, a lot of people already know about this and you're anything but the original archaeologist of all of this information you like to think you're first to discover. And Roger Mago, I appreciate the scoop and I'm no one's savior, but thanks anyway. Because after all, this is about giving credit where it's due and I'm happy to blame, oh excuse me, thank you for providing all of you with more shits and giggles.